Hello, it's Alex from the Zebo Project. Uh, in this video today, we're going to look at uh, the new scheduling options and the agenda view in the 1.8 CMS, which was released in uh, April 2017. Uh, so if I bring in the browser so you can see that, uh, we're here in the schedule view, which looks very similar to the one in 1.7 uh, if you've used Zebo previously. Um, you can see at the top here I've pre-selected the Windows player that I'm working with in this example video. Um, and so let's go straight in and add an event. So this form looks quite similar to how it did before, but you'll notice there are some extra options on here. Um, at the top here we can schedule campaigns and layouts, which is what we were doing previously in 1.7. Uh, we can now also schedule commands to run. So if you haven't watched the XMR and player actions video, um, go back and watch that now. Um, and basically what this, what the command schedule will allow you to do is, is to run a, a player action command at a given time automatically. And thirdly, we can schedule overlay layouts, which is something we'll cover in a future video. So we'll leave this set to campaign layout for now. Um, we're leaving the Windows player we've already selected in there. And then this day parting section, we'll probably do a video on day parting it on its own as well. Um, but for now, we're going to leave this as custom. Uh, the other option that's in here that's interesting is always. So if you in the past wanted to schedule something to run forever, you had to uh, set an end date that was far in the future. Uh, what we allow you to do now is simply just pick always in here. Uh, let's pick a layout. So let's pick the photos layout and hit save. And what you'll see is what gets created is a, a schedule that just runs forever with that in. So we'll come back to today. And let's remove that. So we've got always running layouts, that's new. Um, if you leave that set as custom, you can enter a date and time exactly as you could before. So if we pick to run from, say, 7 p.m. to 7.30, let's pick the same photos layout. Um, if you've used Zebo before, you'll know about priority. Priority means that the what you're scheduling takes precedence over anything else that's scheduled. Uh, in 1.7, we only allowed the concept of priority yes or no. In 1.8, you can have multiple levels of priority. Um, so zero being no priority and any, num any number higher, so one or higher, uh, is an increasing level of priority. So if you've got two things scheduled with one and nothing scheduled, with any number higher, uh, then those two things will be shown in rotation. If you then added something with priority two, that would override the things at priority one. If you add several things at priority three, then the things at three will be shown in rotation uh, and not the things at two or one. So we're going to just set a priority of one on here. Finally, this little box at the bottom, run at CMS time. This is also new in 1.8. Um, in, in Zebo currently, uh, until this version, every time you've been dealing with scheduling, you're dealing with player local time. So if your content management system and your players sit in separate time zones, uh, so if you have players that are in different countries, then when you've scheduled something, all the players will run that at their local time. If you tick the run at CMS time box, what that does is synchronizes the schedule so that they all the players will run it at the time the content management system is set to, which means that they will all run it at exactly the same moment. So it's useful if you're rolling something out that's available worldwide at a particular time, you can tick that box and be sure that the players won't show that at their local time, they'll show it at content management systems time. Um, so let's save that and we'll see we get a priority schedule appear as we, as we are used to. If we want to repeat that, then the repeat section has had a little bit of change. So in the past, we might say want to repeat that every day. So we just say repeat every one day. And then you used to have to set a repeating end time. Again, in 1.8, 
you don't you no longer have to set an end time if you want that to repeat every day forever uh, between 7 and 7:30 then you can simply leave until blank and it will automatically do that going forward forever if you want to repeat every third day you simply change it to repeat every 3 and you'll see that we get one of those every 3 days if you wanted to repeat only on certain days of the week you can do that too now so if you pick weekly instead of daily you can say let's have it on Monday Tuesday Wednesday only every week indefinitely and you'll see that in the schedule we get Monday Tuesday Wednesday Monday Tuesday Wednesday we still get one on Friday because our initial schedule is on a Friday and um, so that will always be there um, if we want it, if we didn't want that we'd need to pick a day here that was a Monday a Tuesday or a Wednesday uh, you can do that also every second week so if you you know want this week and then not this week and then this week you can do that so it's, it basically means those those kinds of complex schedules are much easier um, so let's put this back to no repeats so we're just going to run once on Friday so now you've got all these extra flexible scheduling options um, it can sometimes be a little bit tricky to figure out uh, exactly what is going to be shown on a player at a given time uh, especially when you bring display groups into play so if I head over to the display groups page uh, I've defined three display groups in the system a company which re re represents a top level display group um, a sales department below that and then a corporate sales team inside that um, and these are nested which again is new um, so content push to company will also cascade into the other two and if we look at the members of the corporate sales team for example you can see currently we've got no players in there and if we look at the relationship tree we can see that company cascades to sales cascades to corporate so if I go into displays and add our test player into that and then head back to the schedule you'll see at the top right here there's a new option agenda view if you go into agenda what we'll see is exactly what is going to play out on the player at a given point in time on the current day or indeed any future day so you can see Friday the 14th of April that's when I'm recording this and we're set at midnight currently you can drag the slider through the day and this will update here to show new content you can click on any one of these things and it will show you the relevant um, information that goes with that so for example if you didn't know why sales a was going to be shown today if you click on it it will firstly show you if it relates to any campaign so we can see that it's gone blue which means that sales A is from the sales department campaign we can see in the display groups list that the corporate sales team display group has gone blue which means that the schedule is being sent to this player because it's a member of the corporate sales team group and indeed at the top here we get a breadcrumb trail which shows us that the layout sales A is in the sales department campaign which is scheduled on the corporate sales team display group which is a member of company which is a member of sales department which is a member of which is then the windows player which goes to the windows player and we can click on any of these others and it, they will update to show where that content is coming from so it's a really handy way of quickly tracking down why something is being shown uh, and indeed to see exactly what will be played out on a player at a given time so you remember we created a priority schedule at uh, between 7 and 7.30 uh, so if we go forward to uh, say 7.15 which is in the middle of that window we'll see this bottom list adjusts and now we can see that we've got our photos layout with priority between 7 and 7.30 it's with priority and you'll see that it's visible and these other ones which are of a lower priority are now no longer visible and if we click on the photos one we can see it's directly scheduled to the Windows player it's not going through any display groups so the agenda view is a really powerful way of seeing what is scheduled on a given 
a given player and where that has come from. Uh, and so it's a really useful tool when you're trying uh, to understand where stuff is coming from uh, and and indeed checking that what you think you've scheduled is what is going to play out. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Um, be sure to come back and check our future videos, uh, which will go through some of the new stuff that's in 1.8.